right? So we have the reverse arm, right? So now, I showed you earlier where he bends, he takes his back. Sometimes it requires a lot of practice for people to come around and take the back. So what you're going to do here is this. As he attempts to recover, like turn into him, tuck his arm, see that? I tuck his elbow in, he wants to squirt, let him. I'm going to cover his ear, look up my left leg, and then I move my hip out, and then I have the arm there. Right? I have double attack. I have his wrist. I can also go back and do the same thing. Right? So, one, close guard. Two, come up. Here, I attack. He, he doesn't, right? Look, I'm going to drag his elbow into my hip. He wants to square up with me. He wants to look at me. Push the head. One, two. I can bring the heel over to the other side. And then I'm going to bite my knees down. He looks, sit up, Mike. Sit up, Mike. <laughs> right? I haven't even pulled his arm yet. So one more time. One, two. I know some of you are thinking, but coach, as soon as you drop your hip, he's going to keep moving forward. Of course. He's not stupid. One, right? You can push here too. He keeps coming forward. It's okay. I'm just going to keep rolling the arm over. Notice that I can, I can make it up as I go along because I know how to attack his arm. Doesn't necessarily mean that I have to pinch it. I just know how to angle his arm. He bends his arm. I'm still going to finish it because I've been drilling this way too many times. But to do it in a perfect world is you want to pinch, turn, right? Now. He wants to turn. See that? He turns. Same thing. Double attack. Any questions? Any questions? Let's do it.